let's do some problems now we have to find the volume of solid generated by revolving the curve asteroid asteroid revolution about the x-axis now we know the equation of asteroid is x2 by 3 plus y2 by 3 is equal to a2 by 3 and we also know that it looks like this now how would, how would the revolution how can we make it simpler uh, let's take just the first quadrant if we revolve it around the x-axis right so this would come like this right when we revolve it remember it would be a little bit like this okay now if we double this we will get the solid of uh, volume of solid when we revolve it so we need to double this okay so volume of solid is equal to two times the volume of first quadrant curve revolved about the x-axis now remember uh, this goes from 0 to a right so we know x the limits would be x equal to 0 and x equal to a that is one second thing is uh, since we have to uh, look at y uh, let's take this equation x to the power of 2 by 3 plus y to the power of 2, 2 by 3 is equal to a to the power of 2 by 3 so y to the power of 2 by 3 is equal to a to the power of 3 by 2 by 3 minus x to the power of 2 by 3 now this is nothing but the cube root of y square so we can remove that cube root by cubing the other side right so a to the power of 2 by 3 minus x to the power of 2 by 3 the whole cube volume of solid would be 2 times remember we are revolving it around the x axis so pi y square t x so 2 now pi is constant 0 to a y is a to the power of 2 by 3 minus x to the power of 2 by 3 cube dx 2 pi 0 to a now let's expand this right so a to the power of 2 by 3 take it step by step because of the fraction it looks complicated but it's not minus 3 a to the power of 2 by 3 now its uh, exponent will keep decreasing so into 2 and its exponent will keep increasing so here it was 0 here it will become 1 plus 3 a to the power of 2 by 3 and here it becomes 1 and this becomes 2 by 3 times 2 and finally x to the power of 2 by 3 cube dx now 3 3 gets cancelled and 3 3 gets cancelled so 2 pi 0 to a 8 square minus 3 a to the power of 4 by 3 x to the power of 2 by 3 plus 3a to the power of 2 by 3 x to the power of 4 by 3 minus x square dx okay is equal to 2 pi 0 to a now this would become uh, now let's integrate it so a square x minus minus 3 times 4 by 3 a to the power of 4 by 3 x to the power of 2 by 3 plus 1 would be 5 by 3 
yes and this would be 3 by 5 plus 3 times 8 to the power of 2 by 3 and this would be x to the power of 4 by 3 plus 1 that is 7 by 3 and this would be 3 by 7 minus x cube by 3 0 to a 2 pi now let's take one more step of simplification a square x minus 3 a 4 by 3 3 3 is 9 by 5 x to the power of 5 by 3 plus 9 by 7 a to the power of 2 by 3 x to the power of 7 by 3 minus x cube by 3 0 to a now let's take care of the limits 2 pi now if we put a in place of x we get a cube minus 9 by 5 a 4 by 3 plus 5 by 3 plus 9 by 7 a 2 by 3 plus 7 by 3 minus a cube by 3 and remember if you put 0 right minus the other limit for 0 now in every case x is being multiplied so 0 will be multiplied and the whole thing would become 0 so 2 pi a cube let's okay a cube minus 9 by 5 a to the power of 9 by 3 plus 9 by 7 a to the power of 9 by 3 minus a cube by 3 2 pi this gets simplified this gets simplified so let's take the LCM 7 5 is a 35 35 3 is 105 105 a cube minus 189 a cube plus 135 a cube minus 35 a cube 2 pi this becomes 240 minus 224 a cube by 105 which is 2 pi 16 a cube by 105 is equal to 32 pi a cube by 105 so this would be the volume of the solid of revolution of an asteroid okay let's take the next one let's say volume of solid of revolution of one arch of the cycloid now the equation of that is a x equal to a times theta minus sine theta and y is equal to a times 1 minus cos theta about the x-axis okay the graph would look like this yes and it will go to the next iteration so we have to look at only one arch so let's say this is o let's say this is a and let's say this is b now here uh, theta is equal to pi okay if we take the this let's say this is c now this is 2a now these things you should be able to find it if it is not given by tracing the curve and um, OC is going to be pi A. So, depending on the size of the arch. Okay. Now, as the point moves from O to B, theta moves from 0 to pi. 
yes so the required volume would be two times if we just rotate this sorry revolve this pi y square dx 0 to pi a remember so this is pi a pi a now pi is a constant so we can take it out so we are left with 2 pi a 2 pi integral of 0 to 2 uh, pi a of y square dx now x is equal to a times theta minus sine theta so dx would be a times 1 minus cos theta d theta when x equal to 0 when x equal to 0 theta would be equal to just substitute it 0 sin 0 is 0 so 0 when is x is equal to pi a theta would be equal to just do the substitution theta would be equal to pi okay so now let's do the calculations so 2 pi 0 to pi of y square now y is y is a times 1 minus cos theta a times 1 minus cos theta and this is square so a square okay and then dx right y square dx so dx is a times 1 minus cos theta d theta now it's just a question of simplifying so a cube 1 minus cos theta cube d theta now this a cube we can take it out 2 pi a cube 0 to pi now 1 minus cos theta can be written as sin square theta by 2 yes 2 sin square theta by 2 cube d theta so 2 pi a cube 0 to pi of 8 sin 6 theta by 2 d theta okay let's simplify our calculations by saying beta is equal to theta by 2 that means theta is equal to 2 beta right now let's differentiate it d beta by d theta will be equal to what 1 by 2 and if we cross multiply we get d theta is equal to 2 times d beta right okay so 2 pi a cube uh, this becomes 0 to we have doubled right so this has to be reduced by half now 8 sin 6 pi by 2 is nothing but beta d theta is nothing but 2 d beta so 8 to 16 16 to 32 pi a cube 0 to pi by 2 of sine 6 beta d beta okay and we know or we should remember that integral of this sine 6 beta is going to be take it like this 6 keep reducing it by 1 4 3 2 1 and then depending pi by 2 yes 4 2 the 8 2 the 16 16 to the 32 3 2 2 2 so we are left with 5 pi times pi so 5 pi square a cube and denominator has nothing left so 5 pi square 
a cube would be the volume of revolution let's very quickly do one more what about the circle of uh, sorry volume of revolution of a circle a circle volume of a revolution y square is equal to we know that the equation is x square plus y square is equal to r square where r is the radius so y square would be r square minus x square so volume is equal to two times the revolution of the first quadrant yes so two times zero to r pi y square dx so pi can be taken out 0 to r y square dx now y square we know is r square minus x square dx the whole square no we don't have to whole square it because that whole square itself is equal to y square okay so let's integrate it so when we integrate it what do we get r square r square x minus x cube by 3 0 to r 2 pi now let's take the limits r square times r is r cube minus r cube by 3 and for the lower limit it the whole thing becomes 0 is equal to 2 pi 3 r cube minus r cube by 3 2 pi 3 r cube minus r cube is 2 r cube by 3 so the volume of revolution is 4 pi r cube by 3 or 4 by 3 pi r cube i think you got the idea practice by for now